So we'll set up a very basic analog circuit. And what we're going to look at is we're going to have, uh, we got our photo cell here, and that's wired up to our analog input um, module and our, our analog input input on our uh, on our PLC. So it's going to wire up to analog input uh, number zero. <coughs> And so, uh, first thing we have to do with our, our devices is know um, a little bit about where our analog inputs um, come in and where they go. So under the general um, information here uh, for the properties of this, I'm going to scroll down until I see that analog input uh, two, number two. That we have two different inputs for this. And this particular PLC version that I have will not be able to change. Um, it's only range is zero to 10 volts for its analog signal. So I can't change this to 40, 20 milliamps if I wanted to, uh, I'd have to get a different uh, PLC. Um, we have two, we have channel zero and channel one. And what else I'm looking for is I'm looking for the start address. Start address happens to be on 64. Okay, so I know that um, when I go to address this. And so we'll make a new default, we'll make a new tag for our analog uh, input. And so we'll call it Analog input zero. Okay. Here we want to change this to a word because it's an analog input. And we want to change this to IW. And then we said the first starts as 64. Okay, that came from our, our settings. If we want to change that, we could, but there's no need to change it. So that's our analog input that we have. And to get this into a program, to get this to do something, what we're going to do is we're going to find our conversion operations. Okay, so our conversion operations is where we're going to be uh, for this. Okay, and we need a norm x and a scale x block. So our norm x block is going to take that analog input value um, and it's going to change it into a It's going to change it into a, a, a value with a range of 0 to 1. Okay, and so we're going to be able to uh, have that go in, okay, our analog input that we have. And in turn, it's going to change it into a real. Okay, and our output, we're just going to call our AI0 norm. Okay, and we got to define this. So real. Okay, and then that's also going to go into this, since we're doing it this way, we're going to also put it into our scale x block norm. Okay, and then this will finally be our photo cell Okay, and so minimum and maximum. I'm gonna do it quick right now, and then I'll tell you in a little bit about in a little bit about where these where these values actually come from. Okay, but minimum is zero. Twenty-seven six forty-eight is our maximum for our norm x, and then our scale x is zero to ten. Uh, again, I'll, I'll just show you how to do it now, and then I'll explain a little bit where those numbers come from. So if I take my light and I put it on the photo cell, as you can see, the more light that hits the photo cell, as it should be, um, the higher my value is. And it should go all the way up to about five volts is what this photo cell is gonna, gonna make the maximum amount of light, uh, maximum amount of light hitting it. And we see that in that photo cell value uh, getting up to just over, just around five volts. 